Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorVegas.com. And I'm standing here today, guys, in front of daylight. You can see the uh, daylight there in the background. Got a little light here, and it is at night. Okay, daylight is typically a pool party. You've probably heard of it at the Mandalay Bay. It's been around for 10 years. And uh, they actually have a nighttime party that goes on here from... Um, basically the beginning of May until about the end of September, okay? It's called the Neon Vibra, and it's a Latin party, all right? It's only on Saturday nights, and it's a night swim, okay? If you guys don't know what a night swim is, that's a nighttime pool party. So you can come in your, you know, shorts, you can come in your swim trunks. They really don't have a dress code. So you can come in and, uh, you know, dress however you want. You want to wear club clothes, that's fine too. Probably 50% of the people are wearing club clothes. The other 50% are probably wearing, like, swim attire or shorts. You know, if it's one of those really hot nights, you're going to see more people in shorts, obviously. Uh, it's just, you know, people want to stay cool, whatever. But uh, let's talk about a little bit how you get in this place and, uh, you know, the bottle service and the different options for you guys. And uh, hit me up. You know, I have a, a link for this place. Or actually being pretty aggressive this year over here at Daylight Daytime. Um, I haven't seen the pricing yet for the day, Daylight at Night, which is going to be the uh, Neon Viber Party. But I'm going to guess they're going to be pretty aggressive this year on the pricing. Maybe have some packages and whatnot. Um, you know, everyone kind of realizes out here, especially at a 10-year-old pool uh, party, that, the, you know, the economy's not what it was even a year ago or two years ago. So uh, you have to be a little more aggressive with the, uh, you know, the people that are on maybe a little bit more of a budget in order to uh, fill the places these days and uh, fill the tables. So um, I'm going to have a link above or below if you guys want to get on the guest list or if you want to buy tickets, um, you can do that via my link or my website. Uh, if you want to buy some bottle service, I will have a link for that as well. And then I'm probably going to have some packages. I don't know what they are yet, but most likely um, I'm going to have some packages. Uh, those will be on the website as well, or you can just hit me up and I'll let you know what those are what those are uh, whatnot, probably a couple of bottles and like a cabana. So let's talk about the different bottle service options when you walk in. Um, there's going to be a, a stage, obviously, where the DJ is. That's um, you know kind of an Ibiza-style stage. At one time when they did this eclipse party at night here, uh, back when they were new and they had like, you know, big DJs like uh, Nicky Romero, etc. Uh, this place was like pretty rocking. And I remember when they first opened, they had uh, an issue with the airport because they had so many lights, they had to like tone down the lights or they had to take the lights off the top. So it was messing with the airport across the street. So uh, that was pretty funny. But uh, it had some good parties back here back in the day. Now it's, you know, a little bit changed over the years, but uh, it's still a good venue for a, a nighttime pool party. Like it's like a festival style, if you will. And uh, there are some uh, seating on the stage. Uh, generally, that's going to be for like the DJ's crew, maybe some of the industry people that work here and their friends. Um, if you do want to get stage seating, I can, can arrange it. It's generally not for sale on my website or on the link I have. But uh, I can usually get it if you guys are really interested in that. Uh, but the best two places that are available for sale are going to be your um, bungalow one and two. Okay, those are going to be on the right and left of the stage. Well, those are huge. Um, arguably some of the best tables in all of Vegas. Uh, they have their own in basically inlaid hot tub uh, there, and then they have like a huge area to hang out and like watch the stage and watch the dance floor, etc. And then they have a huge lounge area as well with a bar, massive sectional. I mean, you could easily fit like 30 or 40 people up there. Okay, and then there's also a bathroom in the back that's kind of just for the bungalows and the people that are on the stage so that's kind of a nice feature uh, we get to use that bathroom and whatnot so those are your bungalows uh, the next level is going to be the uh, the you know basically left, next level down I'm going to go from the top down uh, there's going to be the premium grand cabanas okay those are going to be uh, when you walk in basically right from where I'm at here here's the entrance <laughs> when you walk into the left there's going to be four uh, premium grand cabanas okay and those are going to be uh, where they put the bigger spenders typically that aren't doing the bungalows um, they're going to have a, a shared pool there and then there's there's four cabanas with a nice view to the stage um, and they're you know all the cabanas here are basically the same size okay and then you know the grand cabanas the premium grand cabanas are those on the left and then the grand cabanas are the ones straight across from here uh, those are going to be the ones basically on the right if you're looking at the DJ and uh, those all have a big shared plunge pool as well now, I think they call the premium ones the four on the left uh, the premium grands because they only share the you know the long pool the infinity pool if you will uh, with four other cabanas the other side you're sharing with a lot more cabanas so there's going to be a lot more people in the of the small little pool, infinity pool. And then also they kind of let the cabanas in the back, which used to be considered cabanas. I think they consider them grand cabanas now. Those people also have access to the pool on the other side. Okay. So it kind of gets a little crowded in there. It's not quite as premium as the uh, the premium grand cabanas. So the grand cabanas are good, but they're just not as nice as having, you know, only four cabanas share in one pool. All right. And then, yeah, so that's the uh, the premium grands and then the grand cabanas. And then there's also just the regular cabanas. Now those are going to be in the, the back corner here, right behind me essentially. And uh, those are just regular cabanas they don't have any kind of shared pool in front of them they're nice they're roomy they all have a couch they all have a bar and like a day bed all the cabanas have that okay like i said all the cabanas are the exact same size out here um it's a big um 
you know, uh, rectangle, if you will. Now, they're also uh, on the pool deck, okay? Obviously, their pools there, the main pool, but then there's going to be uh, what they call these banquette couches, okay? Poolside couches, if you will. Some of them are poolside, some of them are not. Some of them are more like stage couches, uh, but they're big. We used to call them party pits. I think they call them bank couch couches now, but they're the same thing, all right? Those are nice uh, gr for groups of, like, say, 8 to 12 people. Um, you can fit a lot of people sitting down on the couch, on the ledge. They're, they're big and roomy, um, and they're typically pretty um, pretty fun to hang out at and kind of, you know, like it is a party party pit. So that's what they call those. And then that's going to be um, spread around the pool. There's going to be some facing the DJ toward the stage. There's a couple that aren't really, like, next to the pool. Um, but they're all pretty good. They're all in the action. And then there's going to be your day beds. Now, the day beds kind of flank the uh, um, the venue in front of the cabanas. And the day beds are, like, just a regular bed. You know, imagine, like, a two-person day bed. And, um, you know, there, there's a nice little area around it to hang out. Um, good for four to six people max, I'd say. You know, if you got a couple or a group of four, those are those are pretty pretty good and still pretty good on the action. Like I said, it's a big rectangle, so there's not like one area of the place that's not really going to be in the action. There's going to be a lot of action. And the Neon Viper Party actually gets really busy, so it's a good party. If you're into Latin music and maybe a little hip-hop, they play a little bit of both there. You're going to like this party, okay? It's a lot of fun in the summer, and it does pretty well. So make sure you hit me up for uh, bottle service, 773-459-8133. That's my cell phone, and uh, I'm available uh, anytime for a call or text. Um, and then I have, like, packages with, like, uh, you know, limos. We do dinners. Uh, we also have men's shows, strip clubs. Um, whatever you guys want, we can kind of bundle it up, make a, make a night special for you guys, and kind of end it here or, uh, you know, start it here if you want. So we also do after hours and everything. So um, I'm happy to help. Uh, make sure you like this video if you like the content. Content, and uh, do subscribe to this channel for more and I uh, would appreciate a bang of the notifications bell. I'm Brian Pfeiffer signing out here. Looking forward to working with you out here in Las Vegas. Let's talk soon. Bye.